In this video, I'm going to show you how to merge two catalogs in Lightroom, one from one computer into another computer. In this video, I'm going to show you how to merge two catalogs in Lightroom, taking the catalog from one computer and merging it into the catalog on another computer. What you do is you get Lightroom going, you open Lightroom, and in this case I'm using Lightroom Classic. And I'm going to be importing from another Lightroom catalog, which was also in Lightroom Classic. The way you do this is if you look at your Lightroom interface here, and you go to File, Import from another catalog, and here we go, I've got my Lightroom catalog that I have already found and backed up from another computer onto a portable drive. And in this catalog, I will hit choose. And then in a moment, Lightroom will begin the preparation process. I don't want to import all of the folders, I just want a selection. Now you can choose all of the folders to import, but I'm going to show you that that's not that exciting and interesting. I'm going to show you how to selectively choose a few folders. What you do is you uncheck all folders first and then scroll down to the folder I want. In this case, this Pearls by Sherry PBS 48, and there are 46 pictures in that catalog. Now, the file handling I'm going to tell Lightroom, add new photos to catalog without moving. So right now, I don't have those files on the computer I'm moving the catalog to. I'll do that in a later step. I don't even need to do that. I'm just showing you how to merge this catalog together. Now, changed existing photos, 14 photos. Replace metadata and develop settings only or nothing, you want to bring the metadata because that's the whole idea of using the Lightroom catalog merge. And pres preserve old settings as a virtual copy. Since I'm not overriding an existing folder in my Lightroom catalog, this doesn't really matter. Existing photos that are missing, 14 found, fine. You have the option for these photos, update metadata and preserve old settings. That's exactly what we want to do because I don't have anything to overwrite anyway, so no worries there. And I'm not going to copy the missing files because they're not on my portable drive, I just have the catalog. But if you copied those missing files, say if they were on your external drive, then that would pull them into the folder that you created. And I'm going to also use the checkbox show preview before I commit to this. Otherwise, if it launches and I screw up, it's not that big a deal, but it's a minor annoyance. Once you get this all taken care of, you can individually select files to import, or you can check all or uncheck all. I'm going to leave everything checked. And now, and you can also use the little thumbnail slider to see what you have going as well if you need to. Very handy to do selective checking. Then you simply click import and you'll get a preview of what you've got on the import. Now, interestingly, even though Lightroom Classic says preview the import, it actually does the import. It's kind of silly, but you can easily back that out. Now you can see if I scroll down through all my stuff here and I go to Pearls by Sherry, PBS, it's not there. Ooh, crud, because on my Macintosh hard drive, everything's there. On my external hard drive, that is where the catalog points to. This is the big got you, or gotcha, because that file folder is supposed to be on the external drive. And that's why, uh, what would I say that you don't import based on copying because the files aren't there. If you did, you check the box, copy files to the drive, that would actually pull stuff in, but I don't wanna do that. I'm gonna show you the process of how to move this folder. And all you do is simply expand the folders that you want. And now that I've found the folder that I want to move, this PBS-48, 
I simply click and begin dragging up into my other folder list here. It'll take a moment to scroll, continue holding the left mouse button, drag it over the folder that I want it to land in, and I let go. And then Lightroom asks, are you sure you want to move files on the disk? And yes, I do, because this is the exact process I want to do. So I simply click move, and in the upper left, you will see the progress indicator showing that the folder is moving. This is perfect. And in one moment, this whole process will be done. The synchronization happens. And now I can scroll down and wherever it is. There we go. I now have imported the catalog from my external source into my computer that I'm going to be working in. And that's simply how you do it. It's a little bit of a process, but you can choose to import those files, import those settings, and everything that I wanted is imported, and I can even verify that if I go to the develop module here. And let's just say I click on this fourth image, and I can see that the temperature and the tint have been shifted just like it was in the original catalog. And that's simply how you move one catalog to another with selective options. You can move the entire catalog or merge the catalogs if you want to, or select a single folder to merge, or even choose a single image to merge into your existing catalog as you desire in Lightroom and Lightroom Classic. I hope you found this video helpful to you. My name is Aaron Linsdow. I teach Lightroom and digital arts professionally in design, Photoshop, all the different Adobe packages. Please check the link below to my classes. Please like and comment on the video, and if you found it useful, subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching, and enjoy your Lightrooming!